Hi, I'm Greg Cervani from Hot Sauce JS, and I teach this beginning Node.js course. I specifically designed this course not to teach the deep architecture of this platform, but to get you building applications as quick as possible. And I do that with some of the latest tools and frameworks like Node.js, Express, and MongoDB. Let me show you how. The course is broken up into four core modules, the first of which is Node.js Fundamentals. This starts with a basic review of JavaScript, covering the concepts you need to know. And then it goes into the two basic patterns Node.js is built on, and those are callbacks and event listeners. You'll find those all over programming both native core modules and external modules. The second lesson is Express. And Express is a popular web framework that makes it super easy to create web applications as well as APIs. The database we use is MongoDB. MongoDB stores documents and collections, and those documents are JSON-like objects, so it looks a lot like the JavaScript you're used to writing in Node.js. And lastly, we connect everything together. We connect an Express application running on Node to MongoDB using both of the officially supported modules, and those are the native client MongoDB driver and Mongoose, which is an object data mapping framework. These lesson modules come out weekly for four weeks. Each module takes between one and two hours. So what do you need to get started in this class? Well, you should have a basic understanding of programming. That means understanding what a variable is, basic data types like strings and numbers, as well as arrays and objects. You should understand conditional logic and execution, loops, and functions. And that's it. What you need on your computer is you're going to need Node.js installed and your, and your favorite text editor. I'm using Sublime in the examples, but you can use whatever you like. Now, in order to get you ready for lesson one, I'm going to show you how to install Node. Start by visiting the website, and the website is node, N-O-D-E, J-S, dot org. And when you get there, there will be an install button right there, and you click the install, and it downloads a binary that is just a simple wizard to install the platform on your machine. Once it, once it downloads, you can go ahead and open it up and run it. Continue, agree, just install it on computer for all users and it wants a password and that's all there is to it it's that easy now the binary is available for Mac and for Windows if you're using Linux or if you just like to use a package manager on Windows or Mac you're going to want to go into the download section and there's a link to installing from package managers. And here's an information document from Joint that lists how to install Node on the various releases. So you find your distribution, you choose it, and then you get the command line to install Node. Now once you have Node installed, you can run it from the command line. And all you do is type in node and you enter into the REPL. This is an environment that lets you type in JavaScript and see the result right away. So we can do simple things like three plus four. We can assign variables a equals three for our b equals four and we can add the variables together. Or we can just print out strings. Hello world. And anything you can do in JavaScript, you can do here in the REPL. Um, you want to do functions, you want to interact with data, any of that, any of that is possible. So in addition to entering in the REPL and having that kind of exploratory programming environment, you can also run scripts. So you do that just by appending the script name. So I have a file already created called script.js, and I run it. And you can see it outputted, hello world. Let's take a look and see what that script looks like. I'm using the shortcut to open it in my text editor. And it's just this one line that says console.log, hello world. 
This is a this is a function that's mapped from the browser into Node, and uh, just a familiar way to log out onto the console. And that's it. That's all you need to know to get Node installed, and you're ready to start and dive into lesson one. Now, if you have any questions, my contact information is listed. I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the course.